Hello to welcome you once again to Motom Depart. My name is Chris Blackwell and today we've got for sale a Heimer B644. 2002, it's a left hand drive, it's got 120 odd thousand kilometres on top, which is around about 70 odd thousand miles. Uh, on features on the outside, just so we point them out, we've got diesel uh, input there. On this side, we've got uh, two lockers for tools and you've got your water input there and then a locker that then goes underneath the uh, bench seat for storage and access there. Here we've got the toilet cassette with a sog with the aerator to make your toilet nice and freshly smelling. Uh, rather useful thing, especially if you're in this motorhome for some period of time, very good idea to have. This is an access to the garage, it's a small access door. I'll show you the bigger access door around the other side. I'll just let you know about that. And then coming round the rear, what I can show you here then is we've got a bike rack on the back and a split level camera system that you can see there. Uh, there is some damage to the fairing here that you'll notice as the cameraman comes in a little bit closer, you can see it. Nothing of any consequence, but nonetheless, I'm just pointing out that it is there. The cameraman will then come in and show you the garage. It's a big garage, you see a big door. You can get motorbikes in there, uh, bicycles, barbecues and everything else. And underneath you've got storage there for your spare tire and whatever else you can get in there. It is a big space to use. Shutting that door, moving along, you've got your Truma vent for your water heater, you've got your vent for your fridge, your access point for your hookup, barbecue point, another tool locker there that's there and then on the front here just to finish off with is your gas locker for your refillable gas same method about with uh, gas bubble you'll also notice here there's a abus lock that's for more security better than just relying on your standard locks that you have here i'm going to take a look on the inside what's going to happen now is the camera will just go in and show you the social side and then he'll turn around and face the cab and I'm going to explain a bit about the front of the motorhome. As you can see as he turns in, there's a uh, television that was there uh, you know, that for use in the social space when you've got these swiveled round. Talking about having these, uh, these seats swiveled round, when they're in this position, what you then do is drop them by lifting the lever on each side. And then when that's dropped, a bit more awkward to get to the one on that side. When that's dropped, then you can unclip this and drop the bed down, and it's a cavernous bed. So plenty of uh, room to sleep in and climb out, obviously using the ladder, and a nice memory, memory foam mattress to sleep on as well, with slats underneath, so you're not going to get any moisture build up. Uh, that's gonna cause you a problem. Obviously leave your bedding made up, and then push it up out of the way, simple as that. Saves so messing about making the bedding up all the time. This bench seat can be made into a single bed, so it's actually a five berth. Arguably you can make it into a six, but that would mean a bit of alteration to do that with some woodwork and uh, using the cushions on the back seat. Kitchen area. What we've got in the kitchen area then is a hob with three, burner, uh, three burners there. You've got your sink as well. And then what I'm going to do is ask the camera to just come back into the social space again because I'm going to explain a bit more that I need to go on the other side for. Uh, you've got a three-way fridge that's here, obviously locked so you don't have it flying open while you're going along. A small freezing compartment in the top and then above it you've got a oven grill, uh, a Thetford oven grill. That's a modern addition to this van because it didn't come with that uh, so that's rather good. On this side is the bathroom. I'll explain a bit about the bathroom, although it's a bit difficult with this camera and me being in the shot as well. But the bathroom itself, and the cameraman will just come in and look down on the, you can see the toilet and the sink that's there. If he comes away again, I'll just then uh, unclip the part that then makes this turn into a shower, which basically means folding that back, and then the, there is a flap behind the door. That then means you've got the shower as a separate part to the toilet, right? So I'll just push that back. It's, like I said, it's a bit difficult to do this with the camera being so close, but that's effectively what that is. You then got a wardrobe at the back here as well. And then 
into the double bed which is transverse over the back. Here you've also got an extractor fan which also has a heating element as well so if you want a bit of heat coming into the van you've got that on there as well. You've got blown air heating for the system anyway so that's running on gas. You've got a skylight above where the cameraman is at the present moment in the middle of the motorhome. It's a very bright and airy motorhome. It's very, very easy to drive, even though it's left hand drive. And arguably, it is better to drive one of these in narrow country lanes because you're closer to the hedgerow than what you would be on a right hand one. And sorry about the whistle of my mobile phone there because <laughs> it's always going off. Um, but the, it is much easier to drive a left hand drive down, say, like country lanes in Cornwall because you can be closer to the hedgerow so it's a good idea in some ways to have that of course naturally it's even better still for when you're going around europe when you manage to get around to it anyway like i said it's 2002 heimer b644 with a garage and a transverse fixed bed come and see it